What's up guys, I am Stevie, the, the Military Biker. Today I want to talk to you about uh, a little product that a lot of people are using right now uh, and or have used in the past. Um, it's called the Quad Lock Motorcycle uh, Phone Mount. I one of those. Stick around because I'm going to tell you about the problems that I've had with mine and, what, and how uh, the conversation went with Quad Lock when it destroyed my iPhone XX. So, like I said, uh, I'm going to talk to you guys today about the quad lock uh, motorcycle phone mount or um, handy mount as they call them in Germany or indeed your mobile mount as they call them in the UK. Either way, this thing is supposed to hold one of these and it's not supposed to destroy it. Well, little story for you. So here goes. And this is all in my opinion before quad lock start uh, going a little bit crazy. So, in my opinion, this quad lock motorcycle mount without the damper on the back, the, the vibration damper, destroyed my iPhone XX. So why has it destroyed my phone? Well, the optical, uh, the optical built-in stabilization that are on most new phones nowadays with the quad lock, because it doesn't have uh, a vibration dampener when you buy it from the out of, straight out of the factory, um, it doesn't come with a vibration dampener, does uh, actually destroy the optical stabilization in your phone. Now, if this is my old iPhone XX. As you can see, there was nothing wrong with it when I bought it. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, but unfortunately, over a period of, I'm gonna say, maybe one riding season, so for me, that's about five to six months, uh, it actually ended up destroying my optical stabilization on the phone and actually destroying the phone in the end and I'll tell you why. So as I ride a Harley Davidson, a 1999 Harley Davidson Sportster, she rattles, it's an Evo, it rattles, it shakes, it shudders, right? But what these shouldn't do is destroy one of these, that they should have inbuilt vibration dampeners in my opinion built in with inside the quad lock itself. Now any mount that you buy for your phone isn't gonna be 100% shockproof. Let's be honest, we ride motorcycles, they shake, they shudder, they make noise, and stuff bolted to the frame of the bike will rattle. Now, technology is really good nowadays, and to be honest, in my opinion, these should be coming with built-in vibration dampeners. Now, when I first started getting problems with the iPhone XX, um, I emailed Quadlock and said, you know, is there, do you guys have anything to stop the stabilization? At the time they said no, but we're working on a vibration dampener. To which I was like, right, okay, cool. I'll wait and see what happens. Anyway, as time went on, this thing, when I was taking uh, video footage for the channel or photo, uh, sorry, video, yeah, video footage for the, for the, for the channel, the, I could see the image stabilization was not there. And it was like a wavy line, like a wavy thing going across the video on the phone. And I'm sure uh, I've read a lot of stuff today on the internet about the Android was the same. It destroys the optical stabilization. Now, I went uh, quite some time without whinging and moaning to Quadlock about this. And eventually, the phone ended up literally being shut, shut itself down. It would stay on for maybe 10 minutes at a time, then it would reboot and reboot and reboot. It never ever did that until I put the quad lock on the bike and started using it with, with the quad lock. So using my 10X with the quad lock. Um, I emailed quad lock and said to them, you know, this your quad lock, it looks like that your, your lock, your phone holder has destroyed my iPhone 10X because of the, the shuddering and the, and, the, and the vibration. They came back with, oh, okay, no problem. Let, we've heard of this before. Can you please send me some video footage uh, on what type of bike you ride, how long you ride for, um, how many miles you've covered since since getting the quad lock, um, and we will take a look at it for you. So I did as asked. I sent them uh, some videos that I've taken with the quad with the phone, the iPhone XX, after being uh, on the quad lock itself and you could clearly see that the image stabilization or the optical stabilization is on iPhones was completely destroyed. My fight with quad lock would have been, or was, you guys have destroyed my phone, I want a new phone. 
So they came back with, well, if it's under warranty, you need to get it repaired through warranty. Well, it wasn't a warranty. It was a second-hand phone that I bought that was less than, less than six months old, should we say. Now, I didn't have any warranty with it, so the answer I got back from Quadlock was, well, it's under warranty, you should be able to get it fixed. Well, that's not good enough, Quadlock, let's be honest. This did not come with a warning that your image, your image stabilization on your phone would be destroyed if you got a Quadlock motorcycle phone mount. It didn't. And if it did, it would have been in the completely tiny little small print at the bottom of your purchase and or your order. Now, I'm not gonna slag Quadlock off completely because I absolutely love this thing. I thought it was brilliant, it's so easy. There's the cover that comes with it, right? And well, that you have to buy separately again, which is a bit of a bit of a nose, but you know, I suppose it's for each phone's different, clearly. So this is the thing that actually mounts to your handlebars on your bike, right? There it is there, right? Or wherever you want to put it. And this is the thing that you put your phone in, the, the cover for your phone that attaches to the quad lock, right? And the reason I love it is because it's simple as this. It is literally twist, push, lock. And that is it. That's not coming off, all right? And there's a little blue thing there which you can see which you press down and then releases the phone. It's not coming off. It's a great, great, fabulous design. It really is. And it's so easy, so easy. It's not a massive mount. It's not a bulky mount that looks ugly on your bike. It just has problems with the vibration. Now what they've done, they said they weren't going to replace my phone clearly, you know, that, that would be just financially not viable for a company to start replacing everybody's phone. Yes, should have been under warranty, if I had bought it brand new, it would have been under warranty, and even then I don't know if it would have been covered, because I chose a second hand, a second party um, mount to go onto the bike, so I don't even know whether the iPhone warranty would have been covered, or an Android warranty would have been covered, with buying a, a quad lock mount and use it on your bike. I don't know. Maybe it would have, maybe it wouldn't have. However, so Quadlock refused, or not didn't refuse, but said they weren't gonna, they, they couldn't help me with, with swapping the phone out. So clearly I was a little bit pissed off. I was, you know. <laughs> an iPhone XX, as you guys know, are not cheap. And they're a great, great bit of kit, but they are certainly not cheap. So when it was broken, because of the, because of the Quadlock, I was extremely pissed off. Um, Anyway, long story short, I ended up having to spend my own money to go out and buy a new phone. Uh, here's my other dilemma, is now Quadlock said to me I would send, they would send me a vibration dampen it free of charge in the post, right? So three months down the line, I was like, well, where's this, where's this dampen it? And I just shot to thought, I'll, I'll just send them an obligatory email saying, where's, where is the vibration dampen it that you said you were gonna give me for free? The reply I got sort of, pissed me off even more. It was a case of, oh, uh, looks like you've been missed off the list. I do apologize. Um, we'll send you out a free one right now. Well, you're a big multi-million dollar company. You shouldn't really be missing people off the list that have complained about iPhone XX has being destroyed by your mount. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't. The fact that I had to contact you annoyed me even more. Anyway, fair play to Quadlock. They sent me one and it took like a week to get here. And this is what they've sent, all right? This is the wait for the uh, thing to focus this is the dampener the vibration dampener that they have sent me to put on to the quad lock to stop the vibration coming from the bike into the phone all well and good but do i want to then now spend more money on a new one of those a new case for the phone for an iphone 8 because i've had to go backwards because i couldn't afford on a new iphone 10x I asked them, are you gonna send me a free case? No, I'm not, you can have 10% off. Oh, well, brilliant, so you've destroyed my phone. You've destroyed my phone, but I'm an iPhone XX. You've given me a free dampener. I've then gotta go and spend more money on a new case from you if I want to use said dampener with quad lock. Well, this is my dilemma right now. Do I wanna spend more money on something that's not my fault that it broke in the first place? So. Like I said, my dilemma now is do I want to spend, let's say, 50, 60 bucks on a case for an iPhone 8, uh, for an iPhone 8, the big one, so it's going to be a little bit more, just to fit this on to be in the same position six months down the line. I'm not saying this isn't going to work, but do I take, do I trust Quadlock now to not destroy another phone? I don't know, if I'm honest. What I will do, I will fit it to the, the Quadlock, see what it looks like, and try and gauge how well 
the, the dampener will actually work. Now, I'm no expert in dampeners, and the only way I'm ever gonna find this out is if I purchase a new case and I start using it on a bike. But that's the chance I've gotta take. Will I take that chance? I honestly don't know. I really, really don't know. I put a lot of faith into Quadlock. I did a video saying how awesome it was. I'll leave the link up here um, so you guys can see that. But, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of money to be spending on a, on, a, on a phone holder for your bike, and it's certainly a lot of money to be, again, after the, the through no fault of my own, having to purchase a new one of these to fit an iPhone on again, only to be potentially six months down the line in the same position. So that is my dilemma. If you guys have experienced this same sort of thing, let me know, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you use a different mount, then obviously let me know what type of mount you guys use. Uh, and if you have indeed used a quad lock, it has destroyed your phone, let me know. And um, obviously if you've then received a, uh, an afterthought mountain dampener, one of them, then let me know if you've used it. If you have used it, uh, give me your opinions on it, because if, it if it is good, if it is worth it, like I said, I like this, I'll, I really do like the design of this, I really do. I think it's a great idea, but I think they missed a the trick with the, the vibration um, thing and obviously destroying people's optical, uh, optical stabilizations on the phones, because let's be honest, phones are quite delicate. Um, you know, I thought it was a, a bit of an afterthought with this. But anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the video. If you do like the video, give it a thumbs up, please. And obviously, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. As always, I do these reviews over the winter when I can't get out riding the bike. Um, so you know, this this video will go into the review section um, on my channel, the review uh, playlist on the channel. Let me know what you think. If you like, I said, if you've had one of these quad locks and it's it's completely destroyed your phone, let me know. Uh, and if you've got any ideas or you have been given one of these stabilization things and you have been using it, is it any good? All right, listen, you right, you guys right, say thanks very much for watching. I am Stevie, the military biker, and remember, you'll never walk alone.